Components ribbon allows you to add a piece of equipment that you can consider in your power system. The generator component converts fuel into electricity. This can include diesel generators, biomass or biogas generators, natural gas turbines, microturbines, fuel cells, or cogeneration. Homer also allows you to model PV or solar photovoltaics. You can also model wind turbines, batteries, flywheels, a converter, which is an inverter and rectifier, a boiler, hydro systems, a hydrogen reformer and electrolyzer, a hydrogen tank, hydrokinetic turbines, an electrical grid, or the thermal load controller. By clicking on a component in the ribbon, you can add it to your project and system schematic. We will start by adding a generator. The component landing page is a list of all the generator components in your library. Since we are just developing a course model to get started, we will use the AutoSize Genset. The AutoSize Genset automatically sizes to meet our load that we designed previously. We can leave the option to simulate systems with and without the generator selected. This way we will be able to compare systems that use a generator with ones that do not. Next we will add PV. Just as with the generator, the component landing page provides a list of the different solar photovoltaic models we can choose from. We will select the generic flat plate PV. Next we need to decide which sizes of PV we want to try. We enter these values into the search space window. Since this is a rough model, to get started we will add PV in 25 kilowatt increments. We include 0 kilowatts as a size in the search space, since we want to run simulations that do not include PV to see how their economics compare. Next we will add a converter. To get started, we will enter 50 kilowatt increments into the search space, again including zero to include simulations that do not consider a converter. Next, we will add a battery. There are a wide variety of batteries to choose from. Thank you for watching the Homer Software's training series. We are here to help you. If you are a trial user, please contact us at support at homerenergy.com for more information on how to become a licensed user. We have additional training available for our licensed users. Visit gethomertraining.com to learn more.